Dungeon Alchemist is a mind-blowing 3D visualization tool for dungeon masters to create environments for tabletop role-playing games in minutes. In this video, I show you how to export your creations from Dungeon Alchemist as 2D maps for Roll20. I love Dungeons & Dragons. I've been playing for a few years now, ever since having the privilege to work on a D&D video game in my previous career. Due to the COVID pandemic, it curtailed our face-to-face -face sessions with my regular group. However, as a dungeon master, I've always been a keen advocate of using technology for D&D to enhance the experience for my players. The transition to playing online with Google Meet was made easier. I enthusiastically adopted popular RPG platforms and tools like Roll20 and Sirenscape, plus I've spent countless dollars on battle bards for sound effects to integrate into my campaigns. I love the way that technology can take the experience to a whole new immersive level for my players, whether face-to-face -face or over a video call. When I first learned of Dungeon Alchemist on Kickstarter, I was hooked on the idea immediately. The tool enables you to create rich, detailed environments via programmatically generated software. It also features enough variation to cover a vast array of different encounter types. Dungeon Alchemist not only enriches each D&D session for the players, but also serves as a visual aid for the DM too. You're able to edit everything to your heart's desire. Adding features and props virtually helps with the storytelling, prompting the DM to remember little facets of the story and keep the adventure on track. In this part of the video, I give newcomers a quick overview of Dungeon Alchemist. If you're here to learn about how to export your maps into Roll20, please skip ahead to the next chapter. For those of you who are still watching, I wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you the features. In the centre of the screen is your starting workspace, which can be preset to either a parchment-looking blank space, a forest-themed space, or grasslands depending on your preference for your creation. On the right hand side is the main creation navigation that gives you the ability to draw a room or area, delete it or edit an existing creation. At the time of this video you have a choice of seven different starting environments which are then broken down into submenu options for additional choices. The next option in the menu gives you the ability to edit the contents of those areas with a myriad of furnishings, decorations and larger features. Beneath that you can use the option to customise the doors, windows and floor types. One of my favourite features is the ability to change the time of day, from sunrise to midday to sunset and then night time, and it'll change the lighting dynamically. Better still, you can adjust the hue for even more dramatic effect, alongside the position and intensity of the light source. The final customization options are for terraforming the terrain itself. With the available tools, you can raise, lower and smooth out the terrain in different ways, including being able to scrap the programmatically generated flora. There's some good news and bad news for integrating your Dungeon Alchemist creations into Roll20, one of the popular online tools for running a D&D campaign. The good news is that exporting your creations is very straightforward. In a moment, I walk you through the process. However, I have to highlight two important points. The first is that while you're able to create these beautiful 3D environments in Dungeon Alchemist, you're only able to export 2D maps at this time. On the official Discord, there are rumours of 3D support in the future, but how long that will take and in what form are as yet unknown. The second important point is to export your creations to Roll20, you will need a Roll20 Pro license, which costs $99 a year or $10 a month. Unfortunately, the base and plus subscriptions don't include the API scripts integration. API scripts or application programming interface is a way for users to build their own custom content on top of the Roll20 platform in various creative and useful ways. This includes the ability to directly import from Dungeon Alchemist into Roll20. You can simply export a JPEG plan image from your creation and manually import it into Roll20, but it will be missing some really handy parameters like dynamic lighting boundaries for walls, windows and doors. Plus you'll have to resize your maps to match the grid, requiring you to manually add everything in Roll20, which is pretty time consuming. Once you have the pro subscription, here are the steps to connect Dungeon Alchemist to Roll20. First, add the Dungeon Alchemist script to your existing or new campaign. To import the script to your campaign, go to your Roll20 campaign, Go to Settings and then API Scripts. Look for Dungeon Alchemist Importer in the script library. Choose Add Script. From Dungeon Alchemist you can now export your creation directly to Roll20. Make sure you export with the right format. This will generate a JPEG and a text file in your default Dungeon Alchemist folder on your computer. Create a new empty page in Roll20 by clicking on the tab at the top of the interface and then choose Create New Page. Make sure your player ribbon is not on the new page. Be sure to select the map layer in your campaign as the script will only look for images in the map layer. Now select the map layer first and then drag the JPEG map to the page to import it. The script will automatically position and scale the image to fit. 
Next, copy and paste the text file contents into the chat window. This step will import the line of sight info and position the map correctly. You'll know it worked correctly when you see a confirmation the import was successful in the chat log. You can also verify the import if you go to the dynamic lighting layer and you should see the walls and lights provided you've switched on the dynamic lighting on in the settings on Roll20. Once imported into your campaign, you'll be able to use your Dungeon Alchemist maps as you would any other Roll20 content. I'm excited for future updates and you can find the latest and greatest information from the development team on their official Discord. Fingers crossed they'll come up with a clever solution to enable sharing of 3D maps within your campaign in the near future. Thanks for watching and as always please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.